Hey everyone, welcome to the daily reading. I'm trying to post a little bit earlier today um, because I posted late yesterday. Apologize for that. Um, free reading today, I'm using the Charmin Casilli Tarot deck. And this reading is for today, September the 23rd, one day before the full moon, uh, which will be in Aries. And this reading is for all signs. All signs. All right, what are the messages and energies you'd like to share with the collective for today, September 23rd, 2018. We have Temperance, the Knight of Wands. Oh, just realized you can't see that. Temperance and the Knight of Wands here. There we go. Oh, by the way, I'm in a different location right now for the rest of the week, so that's why I have the change in scenery. I'm not at my normal table setting. What else do we need to know about today? September the 23rd for all signs. And please help clarify these messages on the table, please. What do we need to know? Temperance and the Knight of Wands. What else do we need to know about Temperance and the Knight of Wands for today? Um, sorry if you hear my dog in the background. She's sleeping. Some people are still asleep. We have the Knight of Wands. At the bottom of the deck we have the Five of Wands. I believe this is Mars and Leo energy. Um, we can talk about that in just a second. So... I'm seeing Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries coming up, specifically Sag energy, if you're watching. Um, I'm seeing that um, the underlying theme or challenge of the day is the Five of Wands, so fighting uh, skirmishes, uh, getting into fights. This can also be conflicts, conflicts of interest. Um, you may be provoked today. Um, people may try to start arguments with you today. Um, there's also, uh, this can be positive as well as like game playing, competitive games. And this can also be negative in terms of petty hassle struggles and um, things that, you know, bother us. For example, parking tickets. <laughs> I don't know why that just popped into my mind, but getting a parking ticket can really throw off your day. Um, not that I have a car or anything like that, but, or that I get parking tickets. I used to, not anymore, but... We have the first card is Temperance, so this is Sagittarius energy. And um, Temperance reminds us that we need to calm, be calm. Um, it's also a card of healing. Uh, we have Archangel Gabriel here, and uh, I think it's Gabriel. It's Michael or Gabriel, I always forget. Um, so we have Alchemy here, so this is about trying to create harmony and balance. So I feel like the day starts off with us trying to, you know, create consensus. Um, things can be going smoothly now. Um, we may realize that we're, maybe there's some anger, there's some tension, but we need, we know we need to keep calm and carry on. So this is my, you know, keep calm and carry on. So I do see someone coming into the picture here. Now, if you are a fire sign, this can be your energy, but um, I feel like there's positive news. There can be some exciting news today. I'm also seeing that um, someone may be traveling, coming in, for, coming into town, traveling. Um, this can be short distance travel. Um, Knight of Wands, very exciting energy, very playful energy, very adventurous. Not the most in control energy. This can be someone who um, is all about fun and games, but when it comes down to focus and attention, um, this person can be a little bit flighty. So I really, or this energy can be kind of flighty. So um, there can be some disruptive people today. There can be some disruptive energies. Definitely seeing that. And then we have the Knight of Wands. Nine of Wands, not the Knight of Wands. 
interesting play on words here, Knight of Wands, Nine of Wands. Um, and then if I put all the cards together, definitely seeing Sagittarius because we have the lizard here in the card. card. The question is, is if this is this the same person that I'm seeing um, in the future position here? I see the Nine of Wands as someone who's drawing a line in the sand. They, they have all the experience behind them. Um, so this is a card of perseverance and, and also being put to the test. Um, we have one less, one last test to go uh, to get to the Ten of Wands. So it's um, it's a card of resilience. It's also a card of fortitude. Um, he's kind of built a fort behind him, so he's protecting himself. Uh, so we have the wounded warrior here. Um, I actually do feel like this is the same energy uh, that I'm picking up. This fire sign energy. Uh, but what I'm seeing here is, you know, there's a need to to be on guard today uh, because I feel like um, people can be testing your patience. Um, things can boil over very easily. Um, there's a lot of energy here that speaks to being out of control, flying off the handle, and a need to kind of contain that somehow and balance that out. Um, fire and water coming up. I'm definitely picking up Leo as well, but um, let's see what else I have here. Very fiery, very um, strong fire energy coming through. So definitely some characters coming up in this reading. Um, definitely need to be alert, stay on guard, um, keep your cool at all times. Um, I like the keep calm and carry on. Uh, I think that really is very fitting for today, especially with the Five of Wands at the bottom of the reading. Um, people can get heated, things can get heated very quickly, things can get fired up, um, but there's a need to kind of, you know, pace yourself and... Um, try and, and, and uh, you know, definitely do things in moderation. I'm going to go ahead and clarify the overall reading with the Psychic Tarot for the Heart. What do we need to know for today? September 23rd, 2018 for all signs. So this resonates with the seven of discs or the seven of pentacles, with which is an earth sign energy. Um, but I feel like someone is, is is eager to get some results back, or they um, there's a lot of enthusiasm here. Um, there's a lot of waiting around and kind of pacing energy. But um, there's a need to kind of like you know not be so impatient, because I'm, what I'm kind of getting is someone here is like wanting information or very excited, very excitable, uh, very fiery, um, and uh, while you're waiting for results, there's a need to kind of like be strong. Um, so, see so yeah, how the root is coming up through her or him. Um, that's being grounded as well. So they want you to stay grounded, um, especially if you're um, patiently waiting for something to happen, um, patiently waiting for someone to come into the picture, um, and, and try to maintain your cool here. Because uh, it could take some time. Things can take time. We're, we're I think, still in our sign. Uh, so we're right at the edge here. Um, we're about to switch over to Libra season. 
Um, but this is an earth energy, and as you can see, things are coming to fruition. We have the full moon back here. So energies are at their most potent at the full moon, and we're in waxing, waxing gibbous right now. So something is building up, tensions are building up. You may be waiting for something to happen, waiting for results. And at that at this time, it, it's saying, you know, there's a need to be patient and to try and, um, you know, maybe instead of twiddling your thumbs, um, writing or exercising or doing something to kind of blow off the steam that way. All right. Well, I'm going to leave it right there, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, I will try and get your readings out sooner this week. I apologize for the delay yesterday. Take good care of yourselves and definitely keep calm and carry on.